What is going on, YouTube Reverse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious Top Five Friday. And I'm so excited to be talking to you about one of my favorite bands, U2, who just announced a residency in September at the Sphere in Las Vegas, their first performance in four years, and they're performing this album in its entirety a 10 out of 10 masterpiece from 1991 octung baby so uh yeah get excited guys but in the meantime i'm going to be talking my top five favorite songs from this album which is really hard to do because i love every song on here but uh, i had to whittle it down to the best five so let's not waste any time let's get right to it at number five Even better than The Real Thing. Such an outstanding single. The second track on the album coming right after Zoo Station. And it really just kind of brings you into this new world that is Octung Baby. Maybe even the title of the song is a little reference to them chopping down the sound of the Joshua Tree because, you know, of course, you know, and Lanwa were already on board. They also brought on Flood and all these ideas of mixing like hip hop with crowd rock with industrial and uh, it pays off and it works perfectly, especially on this song which has uh, some great songwriting and an amazing melody on top of it with Bono doing this kind of low Lou Reed kind of voice. And then also on top of it, an octave higher and a falsetto voice, which gives it this just whole cool vibe that uh, is anything like the Joshua Tree. And it's just brilliant and awesome. And that's just my number five. So now at number four, Until the End of the World, another great rocker off of this album, which really showcases the edge and the effects that he's using and shows that he's just really a guitar hero. You know, there's not that many uh, guitarists that I think of off the top of my head that can play both rhythm and lead and back and forth seamlessly. Uh, this guy Hendrix is one of them, maybe Eddie Van Halen, and then you got The Edge, man. Uh, just a pioneer of the instrument, and just, he goes to town on this thing, as does Larry Mullen Jr. I mean, his drumming throughout this whole album really is top-notch. Everyone's in fine form, and then Bono, his lyrics are just so amazing on here, especially when you realize it's a conversation between Judas and Jesus. It takes it to a whole other level. And that's just my number four, guys. So now at number three. The Fly, yet another rocker. You're seeing a pattern here. And uh, the lead off single from this album, which left a lot of people kind of scratching their heads as to like, what is this new direction of U2? And it also issued in this alter ego of the fly that uh, Bono could kind of hide behind and, and the sunglasses have never left since. And uh, just awesome, you know, whether on stage or on record and just amazing songwriting on here. Just some of the lines like, every artist is a cannibal, every poet is a thief. Uh, they'll kill for inspiration and come see about your grief. Oh man. And then of course, again, going into that high falsetto on the chorus, just amazing. And uh, I, I'm going to repeat myself yet again, the edge, man. Unbelievable what he does on guitar on this song. So cool. And that's just my number three. So now at number two. Mysterious Ways. This is the song that really got me into U2, quite honestly. Like, I was a little too young to appreciate the Joshua Tree when it came out. And then when this album came out, it was a few singles in and it was Mysterious Ways that hooked me, man. That guitar riff that is so simplistic, but it's so cool. Nothing else sounds like it. It sounds like the Edge like dropped his guitar accidentally and they turn it into a guitar riff in the key of A and then they turn it into this masterful pop song that is so catchy. Just one of the greatest, uh, you know, you want to sing along with that chorus, man. And it's just so catchy and so makes you want to groove that bass line, man. Oh, man, I, I haven't even mentioned the bass throughout this record is so heavy. That's the thing that really sucks you in. If the melodies aren't enough, man, oh my gosh, Adam Clayton's bass is just unrivaled on this song, especially just so incredible. And that's just my number two. So now at number one, mm -hmm. 
one. Of course, one has to be one. This is my favorite song of all time. I've said it many times on this channel. You've heard me over and over again, but I will say once again, I mean, it is just hauntingly beautiful. The chord progression is so perfect. It works as both a ballad and somehow like gets you just all riled up. And I think it's the lyrical content above anything else because it really just it feels like a spiritual song where you know no matter what you believe in what bono is saying man we're all one even though we're not the same and we have to carry each other and it's just such a beautiful sentiment that gets me every time and it's just my god when he goes into that that high part at the end and the way that the song builds it's like it's so effortless the way they just kind of fit these little strings in in the background it builds as it goes and um yeah, man, I think it is the greatest song ever recorded. I know that's really saying something, but I mean it, man. I mean, whoever, everyone who worked on that song should be given a Medal of Honor because it is just, uh, it's the greatest. I, and I never get tired of it. Never get tired of this album. So, um, you know, I don't know how expensive it is. I haven't even looked yet, but uh, to go see them in Vegas might be a little rich for my blood. But in the meantime, I'm going to spin those five songs and really the whole damn album because it's so great. But uh, guys, let me know in the comments below what are your five favorite songs from this record and how would you rank them? And if you're so bold, just rank all 12 of them, man, because they're all great. And uh, guys, we got top fives every Friday. Album reviews, so much more. Thank you for watching. And as always... Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.